from the shadows. I crept out at night from our hiding place and squeaked a bit when it was very still. The powerful lay in their temperature-controlled leisure before the holy big screens. Their angry bellowing and trumpeting kept me fearful in my darkened hiding place. I scurried about, gathering a few of their scraps for food and to build a tiny nest. Sometimes when they would see me, they acted as if I were not there. Other times I saw my tiny brothers left limp and broken in the dank urban desolation. Their power was so vast and all-encompassing that they were as gods to us. The completeness of their dominance left them as doubtless as we were hopeless. I rejoiced when I could steal back home with one or another of their cast-offs. I knew how to stay very still and remain concealed as they trampled heavily on by. We made no issues with the gutted landscapes they had created in their own images. We prospered as well upon their increased wastes, the richer they felt they grew. They totally ignored us, but slaughtered many of us in simple unnoticed accidents. We stole their tiny golden eggs at every rare opportunity. We did not know they made noise just to interfere with each other's thinking. Sometimes we furtively hung posters of our churlish clandestine manifestos. I piped out my shrill rage with all my puny lungs in the safety of our filthy warren. Fought tiny but brutal battles over undernourished, whining females. Did not make so much as a sound as their ponderous footsteps approached again. Saw others crushed beneath the massive metal monsters those gods rode within. Though our fate was sealed long before we were even born, we trilled our reservations. We worshipped them in fear, never harboring a thought of usurping their grandeur. While we left nothing lasting, the signs of their dominance remained for centuries. Though sad to say, not a trace was left by the time the next geologic epoch had begun. I spent a lifetime wet and caked with putrid mud without any promise of salvation. We were glad to be overlooked when they cast about for yet another enemy. I made my living darting from cranny to shadow when they were not around. Little remains of our existence, except the legends from that era so very long ago. When I died, but one of the pups that I had sired still lived to sniff my dirty corpse. They had overturned our hidden nest and casually slaughtered us as we scattered. I had been in mourning as my sweet dam had succumbed to a poisoned bait. They never knew we bore the insects that carry the virus that took them down.